Anyways, Tom Holland. Uh, Jake might like this. I never played this game. So are we talking about Uncharted? We're jump. No, no, no. We're dude. So you ever play Jack and Daxter? Oh yeah, but like forever ago on like the PlayStation Two or something like that. Okay, so apparently, all right. I, I'm probably is like be- Naughty Dog. Just like we're gonna. We're going to get Tom Holland in all of our shit because like, dude, that's what's stressing me out about this whole story right now. Cause, cause this is like uncharted looks off the bat. Uncharted looks terrible. There's no shot. I'm watching this movie. It looks bad. Well, because they did it in the, they like de-aged everyone. Like Tom Holland looks like Tom Holland. Like still like Mark Wahlberg should have been the lead. And then they should have. Fucking Joe Pesci or some old motherfucker to fucking- Joe Pesci would have been the worst casting <laughs> for the old mentor. Come on, but he like, no, I agree. In the woods. Mark Wahlberg but- would make sense age wise because, like, he's supposed to be like that age. Yeah, I think a little bit younger than Wahlberg is right now, but like, still, he's supposed to be like middle aged adult. Not like, Tom Holland looks like this should be like an origin story. Well, that's more the so thing. Then it should be like. Right. And maybe it is. Who the fuck knows? But it's, I don't it, think. No, it's not because they're doing. Wait, they, Mark they, Wahlberg's they, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's playing the older character. He should be the main character. Oh, is what we're saying. I got you. And okay. Uncharted, Nathan Drake is like closer to Mark Wahlberg, at least in appearance, because it's, he maybe they're like Nathan Drake's 30. Tom Holland's 27. Who cares? Or not 27, no. 23. But like, uh, it's like, I don't think. He looks older in the game. He's like an older looking guy. He's supposed to have like a long history and like, I mean, there's also a be... difference between a, a, a 20, like a, an older looking 20 year old and a 20 year old, a 23 year old who looks 15. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, he looks, he, he, he'd it's be perfect ter- if you're trying to cast like a uh, fucking <laughs> the, the son high of Nathan schooler. Drake. Well, but like if you're trying to like, like exactly what he did in um, Spider Man, slightly older than Spider Man, but they're he looks to... young and looks and so he can play a high schooler. Like that, that basically, what they did was they're banking on, hey, we're gonna make five more of these Uncharted movies. So we got Tom Holland; he's young as fuck, and we're gonna milk the shit out of this. But the problem with it is, it doesn't make any sense in comparison to the fucking video game because yeah. he looks like he just got out of high school. And Mark Wahlberg looks like his dad, who should be the lead of the fucking movie. Yeah. It's just, it, oh. it's, it's silly. Well, here's but, a here's an article. Um, Uncharted movie director says video game movies shouldn't try to recreate games. So he's defending he's not, himself, saying he's, he's not, not, he's not following it. He's not, he's not wrong. wrong. But here's the thing. You can make a different movie at this point. Like if what's the point of calling it uncharted, if it's like what we're going to like, it's one thing. It's like, we're not going to follow the story of any specific game, but like, I, I understand that entirely. Make a new story with characters. People are familiar with wonderful. Then don't call it uncharted. No, but here, here's the thing that I would say is at least make the characters like that. Keep them. Yeah, I get it. Like it's hard to make like a two hour movie out of like a 40 hour game. So don't, keep the main plot points or don't, but the characters should be the recognizable part of but, anything. But like, not only that, like the, I mean, from the scene that I've seen, they do the, I don't know if you played the uncharted games. Jake. I did. I'm pretty I sure haven't. You have. So there's, I think it's the third one where he falls out of a plane and he's hanging from it. Yeah. And now this is in the first film. So either maybe, you know, maybe like I'll play devil's advocate. I'm assuming they're doing let's, all three of the original trilogy at once. Right. Let's just, <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Let's just assume because, you know, technically Uncharted is done. Like Naughty Dog's like, nah, we're not making another one. I doubt that. But yeah. anyway, but let's just assume that uh, the films, they don't plan on making sequels. So they're like, all right, let's just pick the best parts of the game series. Well, maybe, maybe like the studio looked at it. Like they were like, oh, this would be a cool like film right. series. And then they looked at the casting. We're like, I guess we're not making sequels. Like, <laughs> because it doesn't work. Like, doesn't here's the thing is that a it's lot of the so- times I'm like, as long like hair and makeup can do a whole lot. It can't make no. Tom Holland look 40. And that's I what mean, he has can. to fucking look like. Well, no, all they had to do, like, forget about Tom. But Holland. what's the point? You can, you yeah, that's him, what I know. I know. You can leave him the same at least. Try to age Mark Wahlberg. Give him some gray hair if you're going to do some corny shit 
to begin with. Like, if you're going to do anything corny, yeah, make, make like, Mark Wahlberg look old, and then he kind of just, like, gets very physical in the movie. And you're like, oh, shit, this old guy is kind of cool. But now you have two guys that are completely capable of being physical. It defeats the whole purpose because in the yeah. game, you have this old guy who's kind of hold, not holding you down, but... He's your mentor, essentially. Like, he's right. basically... And then I think the second or third one, they tease upon bits of, like, that past relationship. Like, he, well, he finds you as a kid and stuff and, like, kind of half raises you. But, like, he do, he basically does what you're doing currently in the past in a lesser extent. You're doing better than he was. But it's, like... It feels like they're... Even if, like... What aren't they throwing away, I guess, besides like we're making an adventure movie and calling it Uncharted at this point? Again, back to what you said, though. You don't really... I mean, this is kind of like any video game or any movie. You don't really need... You don't need to... Like, don't... Like, I know you keep the name because you want people to buy it. But just change the name and make it its own thing. Like, you could have easily probably did this... Mark, you got Tom Holland and Mark and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you could have made an adventure movie out of those. Anybody's gonna buy that. Like any fucking casual movie goer is gonna buy that shit. Especially you know, post Spider Man, anything with Tom Holland, kajillion dollars. That's it. It's all like him fucking falling out of a plane. That's awesome. Like obviously, like if you play the video game, you're gonna be like, oh, that's from Uncharted. Yeah. But, like, well, but once normal- again, like you you don't have to stick to like a hard script of what's in the game. Right. Like in the same way that the MCU takes what they think works for their movies out of the comics. They don't necessarily like hard adapt everything from the comics and so you don't have to do that. But what they do at minimum is like make the characters at least recognizable. They get, they get changed. They get things like switched around about them, but like Tom Holland doesn't look like Nathan Drake. Nope. And it's kind of embarrassing to like make it seem as though he's supposed to be because Nathan Drake is supposed to be like, this kind of like halfway jacked, like adve- rugged adventure. Not and even, not even jacked. He's just like he's fit. He, like he's fit. Like that's basically it. Just he's a not regular like, guy. Oh my god! I, I finally just guy. pulled up the the picture of Tim from the game. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. Like, exactly. That's, we know. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's you no. Know, but Eric, you were like spot on where Mark Wahlberg should be playing him. Like yeah, Mark Wahlberg it, looks well, like him. Well, like it early, when the video game came out, that's what everyone was saying. We're like, well, oh, Mark Wahlberg would probably be a pretty good casting for this movie. Or the yeah. other guy. Who's the, who's the the guy that actually like voices them? Looks oh, just yeah, like, he does look similar to him. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I can't that, remember his name off the top. I mean, nobody I knows that him, so story. Obviously, he's not going to get hired. But even that, like you could I, like I wouldn't hire him either because nobody knows who the fuck he is. But still, like even that would have been a better casting because he at least matches the but age of the guy. He, yeah. The thing is that like, he's like decent. He's like, he's an in shape dude. And not that Tom Holland's out of shape, but he's in shape. He's fucking rugged. And Tom Holland rugged. is Tom Holland like, can't build, grow a beard. Like Tom Holland. Yeah, exactly. Tom Holland it, looks like he is like in high school. Like we, as we've said, and that's great for the roles. It wonderful for aging because he's probably going to look young for fucking ever. Mm-hmm. But like, it makes it an awkward casting for this specifically. The only thing like, I can think of is they they plan on making multiple movies of this. That's the only explanation not, I can think of. And the only thing I can think is they're so far off because this is like no, you I, have to in order to get make sequels, money. Got to sell the first one, right? I, it'll probably make money, but I don't know if it's going to break. I don't know. We could probably like we. Could, yeah you know what for him I think that there's a possibility that Tom Holland plays games and is like oh fuck yeah that sounds dope I loved Uncharted well it says that he pitched him one of the, the pitched him a movie for this what is it Jack and Daxter Daxter yeah. yeah well that's why we started this conversation so he apparently uh he pitched an idea for Jack and Daxter I didn't I didn't read what the idea was I guess Jess can google that but there's a reason he pitched it and I guess it's because they're going to make a Jack and Daxter live action film 
And I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I never really played the games, but now I'm just thinking, but it goes back Fucking to, just it goes go back all the to way Jake, back. what you said. Just, I can't wait. Tom Holland stars as Crash Bandicoot. Like, no, what no, the fuck are we doing here? Like, <laughs> that's, that's what you said. You were like, is Tom Holland just going to take over for all these films? But it looks like he's he exclusively was- not going to do The Last of Us. And then everything else, he's going to be like the face of what of Naughty Dog's Dude. adaptations. Well, like, well, that, that's like a perfect example. Can you imagine Tom Holland as the dad? in, in yeah. last of us like yeah. that's a, that's exact like whoever they got well they're they're very similar fucking character types exactly like, so like joel is a little bit more rugged because he lives in the post-apocalypse but like if they, if still, they dude if they had gotten the same guy to play uh joel that they did for uncharted that would have been perfect casting like I once again i agree i would have taken uh, that. his pitch was actually a dark horror that he and he for wanted to do it. When he wanted to Daxter? make it with a twenty four. For Jack and Baxter. Yeah. Wait, what was his pitch? A dark horror film. Um, he really weird and dark, and he wanted to do it with a twenty four, which listen, is a horror. A twenty four is a horror company. Listen, Tom, Tom, don't just stay out of the writing room. Just do your thing. <laughs> Nobody asked. But he does. I mean, uh, the uh, the plus side to Tom is like he actually. Does, I don't think this is the first time that he's like pitched an idea to to certain movies. I think he he does this a lot. So I, I mean, it's kind of nice that he has he he wants some sort of a say in in these things. But it's I do find it interesting that he pitched an idea to a movie that's already being developed, which means he's. I'm assuming he's locked on for this, and they haven't announced it because why would he pitch? an idea for a Jack and Daxter film if he wasn't going to be a part of it. Why would he I just think, like... I think you might have got... Um, I think you might have taken it, ran with a headline because the further I look, like in more articles, they asked him the question in an Uncharted interview. Mm-hmm. So, and and he responded like as an interview answer. And he's, mm. they said that, like he said, his dream would to do, be to do that. So my guess here is the that... Problem- the, he's the, slated to be in it, and now he's just talking shit in his interview to promo it. But I don't think he's slated like to the public. I don't think he's slated to be in it, which is why I'm yeah. saying it's it's interesting that he's that he's being a- either asked this question or the fact that he's even pitching this because he's he's had a lot of dreams. He dreamed to be Spider Man, and he dreamed to be uh, a couple of. I think he even mentioned the Uncharted thing. Like he he seems to be dreaming about shit that he either knows about or well, it's stuff that he grew up media that he grew up with. Like, I mean, either he's the luckiest man alive or he just like no shit. And he doesn't want to spoil it. I mean, like he's known for spoiling things. So maybe this is his way of spoiling it without actually saying I'm going to be a part of this movie. Uh, and uncharted is a prequel, by the way, maybe that's why he's young. That's why they cast him. But that like, as a game, like as a person who is kind of annoyed that you're not going to stick to the game, it's annoying because you're skipping ahead to the third game, having a scene like one of the best scenes from that game and then putting into a prequel. It's like, bro, I mean, I, I maybe a prequel makes more sense. Obviously, he's younger, but even but also still, I saw a scene. I mean, who knows if this is like actually how they meet scene, but like they show a scene on some thing where it's like him and Mark Wahlberg seemingly meeting and uh, Tom Holland's working like behind a bar and shit. And Mark Wahlberg's like, oh, you seem a little young to be working at a bar. And Tom Holland has another age-related quip that comes after it. But it's like, once again, I mean, why throw out how they originally meet? Well, like, maybe because the, maybe that's that, not it. And once again, if you're changing this many things, then don't call what's it the uncharted? fucking point? Like, why yeah. even have the IP if you're using yeah, just yeah, the yeah, names yeah, from yeah. it? Like, yeah. yeah. And Eric, to answer your question. Um, this is an old thing. So it says Tom has previously expressed a desire to make a Jack and Daxter movie. And then it just happened to be that Ruben was already working on the project. And then they reached out to him for a meeting. Mm. Wait, so who? I guess he would play the voice of the lead. Cause I can't. So like, Yeah. But I guess what happened was like, because the, with Naughty Dog, like it was like it just a coincidence, a weird coincidence. I don't know how true that is though, either. I think he's just trying to promo it. I think he's trying I mean, to get the role. And he said okay. something publicly so that people were like, oh, I want Tom Holland to have this role. 
unlike Uncharted, him playing the voice of Jack, that's perfect casting. That's great. Go ahead. But Uncharted makes no fucking sense to me still. Ow. I just hurt myself. Yeah. Once again, it's not Tom Holland as an actor can't do shit. It's this is, in my bad opinion, casting. just bad casting. Because yeah. like you said, like even if it is a prequel, it it's changing a little bit of the origin of like how uh, those two meet. And also, you already hired Mark Wahlberg. I mean, he's, maybe he's in the room. Let him be Nathan Drake. Like, right. I mean, honestly, he's though, so yeah. much better. And then you don't even have to do this prequel nonsense to justify hiring someone who doesn't look age appropriate. Because I think but, that's it. They cast him, and then they're like, oh, and then they looked at what the character looked like. I, it reeks of, and this is typically the problems with things of like video game translating, don't, not translating to film and television. Is it's people who are like, oh, this was popular but have no context for the show. Right. And then it fails and be like, oh, you can't adapt video games. But like, then you get shit and it's not purely a video game adaptation, but you get shit like The Witcher that's like filled with people who fucking love the books and the video games and shit. And it's and like- hate the show? No, they fucking love the show. Okay. The show is get the show is one of, is maybe like one, is one of the best fantasy shows running right now. Like- Yeah. Uh, Do you watch it? Oh, oh yeah. I, I've, uh, it's two seasons in. I can, it's fantastic. Why aren't we reviewing that daily? Because it's the season two was over like three months ago now, All four right, months well, ago. Whatever. Anyway, but I do think honestly, I would be very surprised if the Last of Us series is bad. There's yeah, based so, on there, all the context on that, it seems like they're doing good. Like, like we've been talking about this for a year. I don't know where the fuck the show is. Uh, how long is it going to be? Summer? Well, I mean, clearly they're shooting like all of it right now right. so like because you have to remember like they it got announced early covid that's true so like i mean when, like we we had an episode like it was announced and then like a week or two later we had the episode where we talked about fucking uh the casting about it like i'll be very surprised if that show like i'm very excited hold for everything podcast